Hey everyone, Navy Doc 5184 here. Welcome to another music reaction. We are getting back with uh, Postmodern Jukebox and we're gonna go with a fun one. At least I'm assuming it's gonna be fun. We're gonna do their rendition of the Flintstones theme. And if you don't know what the Flintstones are, I just need to apologize for the rock that you have been under all your life. But this was one of those cartoons that was just such a staple for me as a kid. Even as a teen, just watching it on like Cartoon Network and everything, it's just, it's just always such a joy. And um, this is definitely going to be a shorter, I would imagine, considering that it's just a TV thing, that it would probably be a very short reaction. But I figure it's going to be a fun one. And I just want to see what PMJ does with it, because so far, everything they've done you know has just been absolutely fantastic the renditions they've done but i'm not gonna lie i feel like the theme as it is already fits their style so i'm gonna be very curious to see if they do anything to change it at all or if they just do a basic cover of it either which way i imagine it's gonna be a fun one and very curious on um the vocalization they do um i don't actually remember seen on the thumbnail if there was a extra vocalist on this so maybe there isn't i don't know we'll have to wait and see but either which way looking forward to it so we'll go ahead and get started i will leave a link to the original video in the description below let's go ahead and get started okay so they've definitely added more of a jazz theme to it it feels like Some solid sax playing right there. Okay. Looks like purely instrumental, but that's okay. Ooh, ooh. 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 All right, my dude. in a little rag time in there it sounds like okay Ooh. Flintstones theme by Postmodern Jukebox. And the first thing I'm going to note is it definitely was not what I was expecting. Um, I was not expecting a pure instrumental version of it, but at the same time, I'm actually kind of glad they did that. I felt, you know, I've always talked about before when I've listened to their stuff, how it was nice, how they would always put their own spin on it. And the vocals were always like a big part of it. So I'm actually kind of glad that this was a chance to really just I guess you could say appreciate the instrumental arrangement and everything and let them get their, you know, really big moments to shine. And boy, did they, man, they all did their thing. That was definitely a very unique rendition of it, but I really enjoyed it. And it's actually kind of funny how even going through, I would imagine most time, anytime you hear it, if you've seen the show, you got the, you know, everything going on in your head. And I'm just thinking, you know, just got the whole, um, opening scene to the Flintstones running in my head but that was very solid especially I mean that sax dude man he really did his thing with that and I like the little um ragtime I guess you could say uh, maybe closer to ska uh piano playing style that that dude uh did near there that was very solid I really enjoyed that but then again there hasn't been anything a postmodern jukebox I haven't seen yet that I you know I haven't enjoyed everything has been awesome i've loved the way they've arranged everything and they've always done it in a way to where it feels like a very natural um 
I don't know if fit is the right word, but you get, you understand, you know, really where I'm trying to go with that. You know, it just felt, you know, it was like a way they did it in a way where if that was the way it was done originally, you would accept it. And there are some songs where you don't know how they do it. Like the last one I did when they did Don't Speak by No Doubt, but they make it work and they're ha they have not disappointed me yet. And honestly, I don't foresee them disappointing me anytime in the near future. That was very enjoyable. Really looking forward to uh, my next one. Uh, Lord knows I have plenty of postmodern jukebox to choose from in my queue. But if there's any uh, that you'd like to see me react to the, um, for them specifically, definitely let me know in the comments. Uh, in the meantime, feel free to check out my other postmodern jukebox reactions. They all have been a joy for me to watch. And um, uh, I thank you all for stopping by. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you all down the road.